Blimey. Hello. Photographs as they come in. How are you? Not bad, and you? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> awesome. Good. Good to see you, man. You right? Welcome to another episode of the madness. Yeah. <laughs> I left my car halfway down the road. But... Hmm. Okay, we're back with the lawnmower project, which is here. Awesome. And don't forget, if you want to see more of these videos, make sure you subscribe. Click the little bell, um, and it will tell you every time we send a new video. And it will tell you every time we upload a new video to YouTube. So um, today's efforts. Uh, hopefully, we'd like to get some blades in here. Uh, currently, the caster wheel on the back is uh, the wrong height because I changed the size of uh, the drive wheels. So. Um, just going to quickly take this and do, 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 chop that bad boy out, uh, stick another little plate in there. Um, and then we've got to, we need to make some blades up and stick the motor in the middle of this thing somewhere around there. But yeah, um, I'll no doubt get Richie slaving over some code at some point as well. So uh, anyway, um, it's raining outside, so we might be outside, we might not. It is what it is. Apologies. Um, if it's a little dark and dingy inside. Anyway, uh, enjoy. Well, I know, so we've removed the uh, caster wheel and we've removed the washers and now it's time to get the saw on this thing. Oh, are we gonna use this one? Uh, probably not. Yeah, the bit that I just snapped out, yeah. With holes. Ooh, already made. Um, okay, so we've made a hole uh, with a jigsaw and some other stuff that hopefully you've seen on time lapse. Um, we need to find another plank of wood, and then the idea is uh, this guy whoops, will fit a little bit uh, deeper inside of here, hopefully balancing out uh, the levels of the wheels. So, I go on a mission, hunt down some wood. Right, found a big lump of wood. A um, bit on the chunky side, but it'll do the trick. And uh, just need to cut that down and get things sorted. So we're uh, back to the time lapse. Recording, are you? Mm. All right, okay. Not very really well. Oh, well, such is life. All right, look at that. Amazing. I found four of the same screws. How cool is that? Right, so we've got stuff glued in. So, just want to secure it with a few screws. Hopefully the glue, whoops, the glue should take care of the uh, most of the hard work. There we go, sweet, that's uh, in and relatively solid. Cool, so the wheel should now sit down inside there and there's enough clearance for that to spin around in fact. You should hang it over the arse end though, Rich, I think. Bias it this way ever so slightly. Um, yeah, that's much more level now. Awesome! Ah, ah. Alright. This hole's full of junk. Sorry, I've just got loads of junk all over the end of your Sharpie. There you go. Smashing. Ooh. Quick. Drill bit change. Okay, smashing. Oh, 
Carlson. It was raining so heavily yesterday I had to lock down the garden shed. So, uh, uh, it's uh, planned rain again today, and as you can see, the clouds are looking rather ominous. So, um, chances are we'll probably be doing some coding later this evening. <laughs> okay, so here we have an old hacksaw blade, and what we're gonna do is drill a hole through the hacksaw blade and mount that to uh, the end of the uh, motor shaft here. So <laughs> bear with us, let's see how we do. This may go disastrously wrong when we power it up. Right, so we're at that point where uh, we're trying to find a way of connecting the hacksaw blade and it's probably likely to fail to the spindle of the motor and Richard found a big bag of nuts, bolts, screws, washers and seems to be making some kind of progress with bolting that lot together. We'll probably also secure it with a large lump of metal glue to make sure things don't fall apart mid-spin. But weirdly, the hacksaw blade is um, almost exactly the same size in width as the uh, as the motor. So um, I guess maybe that's a good thing. At least it'll be cutting close to the uh, to the sides. That's not looking horrible, Rich. No. All right, cool. I want a lock washer with that, but uh, yeah, okay. you might just get away with that. Cool. If you spin it the right way, it'll just get tighter. <laughs> awesome. Videoing. You're running? Okay. Yeah. So what we've done then is um, we've uh, connected the hacksaw, we drill a hole through the hacksaw blade, put a, a washer and a screw through the hacksaw blade into a PCB standoff. The PCB standoff has then gone into the insides of what's called a chock block, an electrical connector. Uh, so that's bolted down to the threaded end of this PCB standoff. That end of the spigot of the motor is bolted down um, there. So this all sort of fires up. We've got to plug it into the power wall of death. Missile switch is now on. Yeah, cables check. And there she blows. That's um, not bad. It's not perfect, but uh, don't know if it'll cut grass. Maybe we should take it outside and find out. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna test it, see if it'll cut grass. It looks like a boomerang. I think I got a little, uh, little bit of grass coming this well, way. I tell you what, at, um, this should be running at um, 24, volts. 24 volts. Let's, um, should we speed her up then? Yeah. I mean, there's grass on the floor over here. It's cutting grass. Yeah, uh, it's definitely cutting some grass. But uh, yeah, you a bit of sharpening work with a Dremel and uh, a bit of sharpening work with a Dremel and and yeah, that'll have people's fingers off in seconds. <laughs> Can't see the actual right, so motors there. I'm getting back. Yeah. All right, here we go. That missile switch on. Don't know if this is actually making contact or not, but we'll find out soon enough. Oh, yeah, she's running. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, let's get that closer to the grass. That's going to that's gonna work, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Right. Here we go. Why is she running? I've got everything turned off. Free energy. Free energy? That doesn't make sense. Are you covered in grass? Yeah, that's that's working a treat. 
Sorry, I've um, I've had to uh, pull, the wires pull the wires out, but yeah, that's uh, that's working an absolute treat. Awesome. Right, oh, ladies and gentlemen, here she is. New motor, blades, wheels leveled. To see more of our wonderful robot lawnmower project when the videos come out, please don't forget subscribe to this channel. Fantastic. Look forward to it.